Racing Today at High Point. Is that Cooper leading them into turn one? And is he also going to lead them out of it? Yes, it is. So a nice bounce back after the struggles in qualifying. Justin Cooper walking down the motorsport.com hole shot. Colt Nichols, his teammate, right behind him. some goals they want to reach including winning races and a good way to do it here on Father's Day weekend it appears that Hunter is headed to his first ever moto win in Lucas Oil Pro Motocross here in the U.S. But what I'm really impressed with is we know he's had the talent but the way he's come back and fought and dug deep and to go four in a row really impressive from this young team. Yeah he's showing a lot of heart right now. Four straight overall wins to start 2019 for Adam Cincerullo, and he has done it by winning the second moto in all four races. And there he holds up the four. This is pivotal, not normally Tomat's best track. He did win here last year, but it was a strong charge right to the wire for Marvin Muscan. We could be set for another classic. To make a good start, but he's too far wide, and Blake Baggett is going to grab the lead on the number four. The Rocky Mountain ATV MC WPS KTM. So Baggett fast, qualifying fast off the start. Group of Webb, same thing. He's second. I think we have the crash right now. Oh. Whoa! Well, that could have been really bad. The landing actually wasn't so much, but that was an unintentional freestyle. This sets the stage for more great racing throughout the summer between these two rivals. Ken Roxon, who has won this title twice. Eli Tomac, who has won this title twice. Now they're going to be tied in four rounds of the series. Unbelievable. Ken Roxon rebounds to win the second photo here at High Point. Well, we've talked about this over and over. Eli Tomac might be the strongest and fittest rider out here. Late in the second photos, he's able to do things the other riders can't match. And it might be enough for him to dig out the overall win for the weekend on a track that's usually not his best, and in a day where he probably didn't have his best, but he struggled to finish third in the first race. 